Hey guys, Dean Gearhart here, coming at you with another video. It's Sunday morning, Super Bowl Sunday. Uh, last night, I went to a local card show at the mall. I uh, picked up just a handful of cards, but starting off with a T206, uh, we have Frank Isbell for Chicago. Uh, a little bit about Frank. He played on the 1906 World Series team, and he was an American League stolen base leader in 1901. Uh, he started his career with the Chicago Orphans and finished with the Chicago White Stockings. Um, I looked up the Chicago Orphans because I'd never heard of them before, and apparently... That's what they were called before they became the Chicago Cubs. So I thought that was kind of neat. Um, it's a 150 subject back with a factory 25. Looks like Virginia District. So, and then next up, I got Fred Burchell. And in this particular card, he's uh, with Buffalo. Probably be a minor league team. Uh, I looked him up, and he started with the Philadelphia Phillies and finished with the Boston Red Sox. And it's stated that he had played for several minor league teams and actually became a manager of one of them. Um, he is a pitcher, so... And this is a 350 subjects, uh, factory 25 in Virginia also. And you can see that's what the, the big, biggest difference is on these backs is these subjects, 150 and 350. Um, and that's how they were distributed um, back then, so... And you can find these are uh, both of these guys with different the different some of the different backs too. I'm not I don't know how many, but anyways, got them. Uh, next up, I picked up three 1933 Gaudis. I couldn't get my list to open up in the mall, so unfortunately, I already had this John Welsh, um, but that's okay. And he played for Boston. Next, got Adam Kamarowski. He played for Pittsburgh. And he was a coal miner in wilkes Bear at one point. And they played ball on Sundays. <laughs> so, that's that. And then I got Edmund Bing Miller. He played for Philadelphia Athletics. Um, and that's about it with that. So, then the last couple cards, uh, vintage wise, anyways, I picked up uh, these 1951 Bowmans. We got Aaron Robinson. Typical gum stain with these, or wax stain. That's okay. And we got San Delio Consergara. Butchering that name, but that's okay. That's number 96. And he was a pitcher, right? I think he was. Yeah. So. But I like to go out to the mall shows as, as often as I can. They, they, they're they usually in like a 50 mile radius of Pittsburgh but this one happened to be in the next town over from me, only 10 minutes away from my house. Um, and then they're, uh, they get to Ohio too. Um, not a big show. Maybe 10, 12 tables. A uh, couple vintage guys. That's I knew they would be there. That's uh, that's where I got these uh, from. Um, there's a vintage football guy there too, but I didn't buy anything this time from him. But um, I do try to go out and support these guys because uh, if you don't, they end up not 
having the shows anymore. So, and then you're stuck waiting for just the big shows. But, um, that's really all I got for now, guys. Uh, thanks and have a good day.